I was able to test the three tire drive based prototypes from SimLab, presented at the Sim Racing Expo. The new official Mercedes Formula 1 steering wheel and the soon to be released sequential shifter from SimLab. And I was really surprised. Let's go race, the channel for virtual motorsport. First of all, an info for my German speaking viewers. Dieses Video ist auch mit deutschem Kommentar verfügbar. Den Link zum deutschsprachigen Video findet ihr in der Videobeschreibung. SimLab presented a product at the Sim Racing Expo that I didn't think would perform so well right from the start. I'm talking about a new direct drive base from SimLab, which will be released in three variants. I did the first test in this incredible setup. I was able to test the most powerful of the three bases and the new official Mercedes Formula 1 steering wheel. On top of that, in an incredible triple screen setup. As you can see, it's a triple screen setup with three LG Ultra Gear 45 inch 800R curved monitors with a viewing angle of over 180 degrees. For those who don't know, this steering wheel was developed in close cooperation with the Mercedes Formula 1 team. The same CAD data was used, so the steering wheel is almost the same as the one used by Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. The buttons, rotary switches and many other functions are also exactly the same. And with the same haptic feedback as the original steering wheel. One difference to the original was for example the grips, which of course had to be adapted so that they could be used by as many people as possible on the simulator. In comparison, the grips on the original are customized for Louis and George. The steering wheel felt incredibly good, which is to be expected for such a steering wheel, especially as it has a price tag of 2654 euros. But with a steering wheel of this quality and considering that it is almost the same one used in Formula 1, it was to be expected that the steering wheel would cost so much. I would have expected an even higher price. I think you can see that I'm really struggling with the setup. That's because the force feedback was set extremely high. Despite this, I had no problems holding a steering wheel. That's definitely a plus point for the good grips on the steering wheel. The most powerful dial drive base of the three variants was also installed in this setup. With 35 Nm, the base pretty much tops most other bases on the market. To be honest, the base will probably be of little interest to most people, because 35 Newton meters has actually so much power that it is only needed in special situations or in the professional sector. I will come to the prices later. The other two variants are much more interesting. The 25 Newton meter variant, which I tested here with the grid engineering. Porsche 911 RSR steering wheel and the 50 Newton meter variant, which I tested with the grid engineering MPX steering wheel. None of the bases were operated at 100% as there were still prototypes and were only there for testing. Nevertheless, you could already see with all three variants that there will be a big new competitor for the previous top manufacturers in the market for direct drive bases. The force feedback was incredibly good, which really surprised me because they are still prototypes. Compared to my Simocube 2 Pro, I couldn't recognize any weak points. In terms of software, SimLab will also be launching a standalone version on the market, similar to Simocube. 
bumps were very well represented. The same applies to curbs which were very accurately simulated. I didn't notice any difference to my SimoCube 2 Pro. The base was not jerky but very smooth, just as you want it to be. The base was very direct and had no delays. The torque was always stable and there were no unpredictable movements. I think 15 Newton meters will be interesting for most people, as it is sufficient for GT3, Formula 1 and prototypes. But if you also want to realistically simulate cars such as Formula 2 or cars without power steering, you should go for the 25 Newton meter version. I would also take the 25 Newton meter version, as I did with the SimoQ2 Pro, which also has 25 Newton meters. Visually, the base was still covered by a housing, so you couldn't yet see what the base might look like. The base is planned for the second half of 2025. The prices are expected to look like this. 1000 Euro for the 50 Newton meter variant, 1500 Euro for the 25 Newton meters variant, and 2500 Euro for the 35 Newton meters variant. The prices given to me by SimLab are of course the price estimates and not final. But I can already say that I will be trying to get a 25 Newton meter version and a 50 Newton meter version so that I can test them for you. Now to the shifter. As you can see, the sequential shifter that will soon be released has a blue rotary knob. This can be used to adjust the resistance. A spring is preloaded more or less with the rotary knob. This then ensures a higher or lower resistance. The shift feel of the shifter is more of a soft shifter, just like in a modern automatic road car. But compared to a spotty modern road car, it has a longer shift travel. There is no hard resistance with a hard stop as with most shifters, but rather a dampened resistance. The result of that is that the shifter is quieter than other sequential shifters. Nevertheless, the shift resistance is still very high. The handbrake from SimLab in the background is a perfect match. I have already presented this in a review video. You can find the link in the video description. I hope you enjoyed the video. More videos and tests from the Sim Racing Expo 2024 will be published in the coming weeks. This will include the SimoQ Active pedals, many new steering wheels and hardware from Azatec, Panatec, VPG, Cube Controls, Zoelpack, Bavarian Simtech, GSI and much more. The video about Assetto Corsa Evo has already been published and can be found in the Sim Racing Expo playlist on YouTube. If you have any further questions, please post them in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.
Yeah, the last one's on the